All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash. Double honor unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. We're giving the 144,000 men. All right, it's a quick video, you know, um, through the spirit and power, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Um, the name of this one is Yahweh Shai is inevitable. All right, and uh, the inspiration for doing this video is the, um, the beloved brother, Aymar Bayan, you know, who sent uh, a clip, you know, of, um, of Thanos in Avengers, in you know, the Avengers um, clip where, you know, the Avengers came, you know, to face off against him. You know, after he already had did the destruction, you know. You know, which is symbolic of the end and of Yahweh Shai coming back, you know, and destroying this place. Alright, and how um, you know, basically how Esau is gonna come up and, and um fight against him, you know, Revelation twelve and verse seven. Alright? But you know what, what hit me in that video is, is the is the inevitability of Yahweh Shai, you know, and um you can only have that understanding or that belief, you know, through faith. All right, faith, you know, as it's written, you know, it's impossible to please the Lord without faith. All right, and when Yahweh Shai comes, he said, you know, shall I find faith on the earth? You know, according to the book of, um, the book of Luke, I think it's chapter 18, verse 8. All right, and the scriptures say, without faith, it's impossible to please the Lord. So you have to believe first and foremost that the Lord is coming. All right. But as it's written also too, you know, the Lord said, you know, um, what if some didn't believe, but the majority don't believe that he's coming, all right? They don't believe that he's going to um, crack the clouds, all right? Because why? They don't have the evidence, all right? Which go back into what? The, the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Now let's get that word testimony, all right? Let's get that word testimony. So just, just a quick um, a walk and talk. I'll just do another exercise here and um, decide to do a little video. All right, but we have here the testimony. Testimony. All right, which says, which says um, a formal or written or spoken statement, especially one given in a court of law. And what does a court of law deal with? You know, evidence. All right. Um, here, similarities. It says evidence, sworn statement. All right, affidavit statement. Uh, you know, basically. Second entry says evidence or proof of something. Proof, evidence. So, what's the proof that we have of Yahweh Shai coming? You know, we have the scriptures, right? Everything written up four times was written for our learning. All right, Romans 15 and 4, I believe. All right, and that, that's proof enough for us. All right, this thing is a thing of faith. All right? You know, this thing is a thing of faith. So, we believe that the Lord is coming. That, that's the, that is, um, and that's a gift, you know, through the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit is a gift. Ephesians 2 and 8, all right? You know, and not, not all men have faith as it also is written. So they, most people, two-thirds in America, and the wicked is right around the world, the heathen, they wouldn't believe this thing, all right? But we believe through faith that the Lord is coming. We believe in His inevitability, all right? You know, the Lord talked about the immutability of His, of his counsel. You know what he very says will must come to pass. All right. Now let me get the meaning also of um. It's actually here inevitable. You have inevitable. Let me just back this out. All right. It says inevitable, certain to happen, unavoidable. Right. Unavoidable. It says inescapable just how Thanos you know said you know he did all this all this you know being you know, what throwing them back into all you saw Edom's um all of their, their witchcraft their sorceries put into the um Isaiah the 47 chapter all right you know all of those all of those um all of the wickedness all right that they've been doing in the earth the, the havoc and the iniquity that been, been they've been wreaking in the earth you know, going back into um, I um, is it Psalm Psalm 58 and verse 3? You know, the 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 way the, the way the violence. In fact, let me get it. Let me do um, 
butcher the scripture book of um psalms 58 and verse 2 it says yea in heart you work wickedness you weigh the violence of your hands in the earth so this is what they do you know that's why most of the people in the in the earth you know are mourning right now you know most of the people in the earth mourning right now because the wicked are bearing through right so it's all kind of people catching all kind of hell they had to get up every morning and go to work you know yeah you're, you're eating and drinking poisons you know they, they so-called um they so-called um medicine medicine is, is slowly killing you when going back into the three-point jump shot the squid game that a lot of people went out there and played you know they've been on alive right now you know so righteousness has to come here in order for righteousness to rule you know and for the earth to, 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 to be healed right it's inevitable that the lord must come back yahweh shai must come back he must he must rule you know the earth must be refreshed that word kainos when you go back in greek it means to be refreshed a new heaven a new earth all right uh new heavens new heaven Let's see if i can find it yeah okay revelation 21 and 1 it says and i saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea all right i believe also there's a scripture in um is it corinthians first corinthians 15 let me see if i can find it and verse um verse 24 you know because this this part this has to happen it says first corinthians 15 and 24 then come at the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to the heavenly father who's doing that yahweh shai our lord and savior who the world ignorantly call jesus christ all right even the father when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and all power which is pretty much what Thanos was doing right that's what Yahweh Shai is gonna do right but it says for he must reign here they say he must reign it's what is inevitable all right till he had put all enemies under his foot so all enemies gonna be what subdued right the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death all right for he had put all things under his feet but when he said all things are put under him it is manifest that he is that he is expected which did put all things under him all right so it's expected that the lord gonna come all right he's gonna he's gonna come he's gonna rule he's gonna take over this earth and there's nothing nothing these heathens could do all right against him no matter what Esau does with his space force all right his six branch of the um uh, protective services as they say it you know the jacob webb telescope all these things you know gonna amount to nothing you know as the scriptures say why do the hedron rage and people imagine a vain thing that's roughly paraphrasing right because all of it all of it is gonna gonna be in vain but they're gonna have a face up up, up to you how we shine the end and as the lord said right he's not gonna meet them as a man see as a man he's coming as a what angelic power Let's see if you can get us here you know, meet you as a man all right so like you yeah. spell you wrong so bear with my moment here about all right isaiah 47 and 3 all right, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 47, verse 3. It says, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. How, how the nakedness been uncovered? By the prophets, the mouthpiece of the Lord. Amos 3 and 7, tell you that. All right? You know, the Lord said, um, they will, they, these, these devils will be consumed. The devil means Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, by the spirit of his mouth. All right? And destroyed by the brightness of his coming. So this is how they've been um consumed they've been made naked and bare 
you know, their sin, you know, it can no longer be hidden. It says, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet you as a man. The Lord is coming as an angelic power. Because he was the one in the beginning, you know, with the Allah Hayam, when you read Genesis, the first chapter, let's wait that this people pass. He was the one, you know, who did all creation. Right? John 1 and 1, everything that was created was created by him. So it's, it's natural for him to rule. He has to have preeminence in all things. All right, Yahweh Shai. Right, but we're going to also reign with him. Right? That's the heritage and the men of the Lord. And Barakate Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for that. All right? So he must reign. The Lord is going to reign. And it has to happen. So we have the evidence, although the world can't see it, it's still made manifest. All right, it's still made manifest, you know, um, the evidence. All right, in the men of the Lord. Um, as the scripture say, what if some can, can't believe? You know, that don't, that don't change the fact that the Lord is going to come. All right? And we, and we those who have the eyes have, can see it. We can see the, the prophecies coming to pass because it's all about prophecy. That the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Right? Because the Lord said before through his Holy Spirit, through his Holy Spirit, um, through the prophets, right, that he's gonna come back. And when he does, he's gonna destroy this place. But I have some of the precepts here. Let me see if I can get a couple of them. Lord willing, I can get back a couple of them. Alright, this is Revelation 12 and verse 2. It says, looking unto Yahweh Shai. The author and finisher of our what our faith. Right? Because it's true faith, we have the patience to, to stand, you know, till the end, to endure till the end, you know. And such as endure to the end shall be saved, as the scripture is saying in Matthew 24, chapter. Alright, looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith. Right? Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. So we enjoying right now all the hell we're going through as well, just like him despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of power so the lord already got his um his glory in the heavens it's only was only left for him to claim is his glory on the earth which is going to do what is coming all right so there's nothing they can do about it no matter what esau does all the weapons he has you know all the dual heaven the nuclear missiles you know as the scriptures say his end going to come through him because all those, all those, uh, all those missiles, you know, all those weapons of destruction. Guess what? The heavenly Father um, gave it to him. God created, created the smith that blew out the coals in the fire. All right. You know, so they, they, they're not gonna make it. And in the end, you know, all those who fought against the Lord, fought against his, his people, his, his men. You know, you're gonna be put to shame at his coming. So unless bring one more precept lord willing and i'll close this out Let's see if i can get this here let's get this revelation 21 i think it's revelation 22. let's go down here all right yeah, yeah. this is revelation 22 verse 12 it says and behold I come quickly and my reward is with me right so what's going on here the Lord is going to come quickly says he's coming quickly right now you know but on um on TikTok and them places you know they actually have um people who, who, who um from you know Esau's um uh, people doing witchcraft basically talking about um going into the, the remote viewing you know, and all those kind of, kind of techniques that they have, that a massive ship is coming. All right, a massive, a massive one is coming with a whole armada of ships with it. All right, and it's coming quickly, and they reveal that, and they reveal that they had ancient, ancient beings, you know, who are pissed off, and they come in to correct the situation on earth. So that's what they said. But we know, we know what they're talking about. We know that's the Lord and the angels. Right, so the Yahweh Shai coming quickly. What and it's my reward is with me. What the reward is? At the end of the day, the reward is that change. 
Right? The reward is the change, even in your body. That's what the reward is. Right? Change. The Lord said, um, said um, Malachi 4, verse 2, the Lord shall arise with healing in his wings. That's what it's talking about. It says, to give every man according as his work shall be. So if you did good, you're going to get good. If you did evil like Esau, guess what you're going to get? Destruction. It says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. So, therefore what? That's, his, that's what his inevitability. All right? He will, he will reign in the end. All right? He will reign in the end because everything created was created for him. All right? You know, and um, you saw Edom, all the, you, 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 um, you made, your, you made your, um, your, your rainbow people, you know, you, you put wicked draconian laws in place. All right? All this wickedness, even going into Romans, the first chapter, all of it going to come to nothing. You know, so you, as it says in, in Romans, the first chapter, and around the 27 verse, where your destruction is inevitable. All right? Let me see if I just get out and I'll close it out. Romans 1. It's a lucky. Oh, you saw us playing up. Romans 1. Let me just trip, jump straight to the point. No, it's good into all the wickedness it says. Romans 1 and 28. It says, and even as they did not like to retain the Heavenly Father in their knowledge, right? The Heavenly Father gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. You know, we have a whole long list of these things. You know, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, you know, maliciousness, envy, murder, debate, deceit, right? Malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of the Heavenly Father. Despiteful, proud, boasters, right? Proud, you know. Lord, Lord says, shall bring great miseries on the earth because of the proud, right? Roughly paraphrasing, right? Boasters, inventors are evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, hence the rainbow people, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of the Heavenly Father, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. And that's going to be their reward who do such things. When your wish I comes. You know, they are worthy of death. And that's exactly what they're gonna get. Not only they say are worthy of death, not only do those do the same, but have pleasure in them that do it. So when they get the judgment from your wish I they, they they deserve it. Alright, so with that, I pray this little lesson was edifying. You know, through the spirit and power, yeah, basham Yahushai. Alright. The Lord is inevitable, Yahweh is inevitable. And you devils can't do nothing about it. Shalom.